I have TV Turkish. I can see by your face that you're you're really disappointed in that. I mean, we should be out of sight in that game. How many chances did Arsenal have to bury that tie? We should be we should be thinking to ourselves that we should be looking forward to the semi finals. Yeah, ain't even no joke. It should have been that three 0 I predicted. You know, because that's what I predicted. Because that's what I know you, we can do against Slavia. We should do against Slavia, Prague, Rob. That's what we should do, even with this mediocre squad, even in this poor run of the whole season, let's say. We mm. should still be doing away with Slavia Prague. But key moments, players letting us down, the same book, reading it again, same ending. In fact, it doesn't even end. It just goes back <laughs> to page one, and then it's the same shit over and over again. Next chapter. Next chapter, same, same story, just a different way of putting it. Mm. This, this is what it is again, Rob. Saka in the first half. One on one, Lacazette, <laughs> a big one on one. Um, Abamian had a chance when he, you know, to be fair, he just come on, but yep. that one that just fell to him, where he just sort of slightly, all right, to be fair to him, he did get an assist for the goal, he did very well in that yeah. situation. We get the goal, you're thinking to yourself, all right, not even Arsenal, no, and actually, I weren't thinking that, I was thinking these aren't capable. When I saw the four minutes coming up and I go, they are capable of blowing up. But even me, I'm still in shock at the way in which they're dilly-dallying around with the ball at the back. These men don't believe in themselves, Rob. Look then if you don't believe in yourself, surely get the ball forward up the pitch. They don't know what they're doing out there. And you know what typifies them not believing in themselves? In my opinion, going one nil up, they were so happy about that. It's the 86th minute at home against Prague. Go get that ball and put it back and let's try and get another goal because that's what we deserved today mm. because we had enough chances. It wasn't a great performance. We had enough chances to see that game out. Mm. We should have won by a couple goals. But we score one, it's happy days. I get it with Pepe. You know, he got dropped and he's back I, in I the side. I guess it's a last and... minute goal as well. Kind of, well, kind of. Well, you say it's last mm. day. They got the real last minute mm. goal. You know, Last that, second goal. At the end of the day, you got to keep switched on. And I think mm. that's a bit of a relief on, on the players' part. You know, that's what it seemed like. It seemed like we got the goal, thank God. Whether mm. it's the manager's not going to be in our case or the fans are not going to be in our case, it was some sort of relief. It's not the right attitude out there from a lot of the players, Rob. A lot mm. of the squad is still so rotten and that's, that's the right word for it. Because who do we miss today, Rob? We miss some names against Liverpool, apparently. Mm. Well, we're missing Tierney today, Louise. But we're always missing someone. Mm. When are we going to be capable of fighting? Players with... got to step up, like you said. Players have got to step up when those players are out. And, and when your players that are, are, are in place to step up, like a Willian, for example, who's passed it, how does that fill anyone with any hope? Fans, the players, Martinelli, Pepe. Hmm. That's why it comes down to the manager as well, Rob. And I don't talk about the manager often because it is bigger than the manager. It was always bigger than Wenger. Wenger faced all of that, you know, hmm. um, criticism because he became a shield for them. But post Wenger, when are us fans going to realise what the true problem at this club is? Arteta's here on learning experience, Rob. He's here on learning experience at, at, at Arsenal Football Club. That makes no sense to me. At a time when we needed a manager that's going to come in, maybe with a philosophy, with some ruthlessness, someone that's been there and done that, we went for a manager that's going to have to learn. Mm. He's going to have to learn from tonight. But us fans have been patient for long enough. We moved into the stadium, what, 15 years ago now? Mm. That's patience. You know, we're not a Newcastle, I understand that. But we're heading far, far, like faster to a Newcastle way than we are um, to Man City and Liverpool. So I don't know yeah. what to say, Rob. At the end of the day, Arteta needs to, he needs to sort it out. Because at the end of the day, his job's on the line next Thursday. Yeah, you know, I'm asking that. If he loses that next week and we end up finishing, we won't, you know, look, let's be real. At the moment, you're looking at a team that's going to finish outside the top six. Could even finish ninth, tenth. Arsenal. <laughs> right? It seems inconceivable to even be saying that. But if that does happen, do you think he can stay in his job? Nah, Rob. You know what it is? It's, you know, I understand having a poor season. This is worse than a poor season. I understand losing games here and there. You can't be dropping points. Or, I mean, not dropping points. I mean, you can't be drawing at home to Slavia Prague. You know, we were blessed with this draw. We've been blessed here. Benfica, Olympiacos, cool. They've got a little something about them. We were blessed with Prague. The only other team we'd probably take is Granada instead mm. of them. 
And what do we go and do? And then what, Villarreal around the corner? Because we'll inevitably get past Prague. I still expect us you to still get think past. We'll get past them. I, look how many chances we created with mm. a poor performance today, Rob. I know they haven't lost at home for a long time, but I still think we'll get past them. But I, I think it's going to be false hope again, you know, because we're going to look at Villarreal, we're going to build it up, Unai Emery, and then <sighs> same book, Rob, new chapter, start again. Today's show is sponsored by Profit Accumulator, the UK's number one match betting service. So what is match betting? It's a method that's used by individuals to profit from free bets and incentives offered by bookmakers. And when you sign up to Profit Accumulator, they will walk you through how to do match betting with their easy to follow video guide. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and you can start your Profit Accumulator journey today 